Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you what is the best coffee maker for a college student. So somebody graduating high school and they're going off to college, I'm going to show you what I think is the best coffee maker for a college dorm room or a really small apartment. So I've got two kinds of options. The three on the left here are K-Cup and on the right hand side, these are just traditional coffee makers that you have to have a filter and you have to have the ground coffee. Now with the K-Cups, you got unlimited possibilities as far as what kind of coffee you'd like to brew. They got hot chocolates, teas, over ice. So you do have a lot more options with K-Cups and they're definitely a lot simpler. So let's start off with the three coffee makers. They're called single serve coffee makers. The first two are Keurig and then we got a Chulux. So this is from Walmart. This is the Keurig K, K Express Essentials. It's $60. It comes in about four colors, black, white, red, blue. I really like this white one. You can decorate it with your own stickers. Next, we got the $60 Keurig K Mini. Now there's, a, there's also a K Mini Plus that runs about $100. These two are exactly the same, but the, the, the Plus has the removable reservoir and it has a bold brew, which I don't think for $20, I don't think it's necessarily worth it. Actually for $40, because sometimes these minis are a hundred bucks. So for 60 bucks, that's a really good deal. So again, the K-Mini will not have a removable reservoir. The Chulux is $37. This is also a really good option. And you can see it's a very small, has a very small footprint. Next, we've got the Mr. Coffee. This is the programmable one, five cup programmable. Uh, coffee maker and I really like this Cuisinart. It's $40. It's a four cup coffee maker, but I, I did I really like it and it makes a great cup of coffee. Now I have separate videos on how to make coffee with all five of these coffee makers. This video I'm mainly going to be showing you the differences and what I think would make a good coffee maker. All of these would make great coffee makers, but they all have just a little bit of differences. Okay, so the K Express Essentials, very nice coffee maker, very easy. What I like about it, it's got a reservoir that you fill up. You can remove that reservoir, fill it up, and you can brew several coffees before you have to fill it up again. Now the K-Mini, it's got a small footprint, but you, each time you've got to put whatever coffee you want to brew. So if you want to brew an eight ounce coffee, you've got to fill it up exactly to the eight ounce mark, close this, press the button, and it takes a little bit. Uh, it takes about two minutes and then it brews your cup of coffee. This one starts brewing right away. The Chulux is about the same thing. Each time you brew a, a cup, you got to put the amount of water in that you want to brew. So you put it in back here, put your cake up in, close this. There's a start button on the side, and then it brews your pot of coffee, your cup of coffee. And these are just individual cups. And what you run into, so a standard K cup can only hold two tablespoons of ground coffee. And that's usually only good for about an eight ounce uh, cup of coffee. I know sometimes these things have bigger settings like 10, 12, 14 ounces. That's really watered down coffee for a K-cup. If you've got a big travel mug that you want to take with you, the five cup coffee makers are a really good option for that. Otherwise, you're just going to have to brew two K-cups into a travel mug or if you've got just a really small mug. Okay, so both of these are just standard coffee makers. So each time you've got to fill it up with water, you're going to get your, your uh, filter. You're going to put your coffee in here. Same with this. You've got to get a little filter, put your coffee in. You're going to close it, start the brew and then it's gonna brew your pot of coffee. It brews pretty quick after about, it takes about five minutes to brew the full five cups. Now this uh, Mr. Coffee is programmable. So if you know exactly what time you're gonna wake up every morning, you could program it to come on, brew your pot of coffee, and it's ready to go for you in the morning. But the reason I like this Mr. Coffee programmable is, is so say you start your brew, it's got a warming plate that's gonna keep the warming plate on for two hours after you're done brewing. But if you forget to turn it off, it turns off automatically after two hours. There's some coffee makers that all they have is a switch. And if you don't remember to throw that switch back to off, you could burn the coffee in your coffee maker. So for somebody new to coffee, I like these because it automatically shuts off. Same with the Cuisinart, it's automatically gonna shut off. It's not programmable. It's got a little craft. Um, it's just kind of really neat. It still has a warming plate. And I just really liked it. I thought this one did make a great cup of coffee. But with the coffee makers, you did traditionally do have to, now you can just rinse these out and then start another pot of coffee, but once about, you do have to wash these once in a while. So you have to have kind of a sink and something to wash these. The Keurig machines, just you can just do fresh water rinses and that pretty well stays on top of things. So for somebody that's maybe never made coffee, a K-cup is probably gonna be the way to go. 
these can be, you know, they're very easy to do. And I have videos on exactly how to make coffee with them, but it can be a little bit more work. You know, with the K-cup, you're just gonna throw the K-cup in within a, with this one, within a minute, you're gonna have a coffee ready to go. This one's about two minutes and the Chulux about the same. Okay, so I'm gonna show you all three of these K-cups, just how easy they are to make coffee. So the Chulux, again, you gotta put the water back here each time you're gonna brew. It's very easy, just put the water. I put eight ounces. You're gonna get your coffee cake up. You're gonna put it in, it's gonna pierce it. There's a button on the side. You're gonna press start. Same with the K mini. You're gonna close it. It's gonna pierce the top and the bottom. Then you're simply gonna press the K button. And then this one, same thing. You're gonna put the cake up in, you're gonna close it, and then press the eight ounce button. And you'll see this K Express Essentials is very fast. These two have to kind of heat the water up and then brew the coffee where this one can heat the water and brew it at the same time. But this one, the K Express Essentials is a little bit bigger, you can see, but not too much. And again, be careful. If you've never had a Keurig or a coffee maker, these are very hot. That water coming out of there is usually around 200 degrees on that one. Some of these are around 190, 185. And some people will ask about the taste. You know, these three all pretty well taste the same. You know, when you do coffee with a coffee maker, with a filter, it does taste a little bit better, but these are just so much more convenient. And all three of these shut off automatically, so you can just leave and they shut off automatically. Now this Chulux comes in a lot of different colors. Same with the K uh, Mini. This is a red, poppy red, but it comes in several different colors too, which I think are really neat looking. The Chulux is available on Amazon. You can find the K Mini at Target, Walmart, Amazon. The K Express Essentials is mainly just Walmart. Okay, and here comes the Chulux. So if you got a little bit of extra time, this one makes a really good cup of coffee too. You know, and the water, the coffee coming out of there is really hot too. 186, 187, 189. It's a quiet one. So if quietness was, was an issue, I might go with the K Express Essentials or the Chulux. The K Mini is a little bit noisier. Not too bad though. I'll put links to all of these in the show description notes. So if you click on the show description notes right below the video, there will be a link. Now I am an Amazon affiliate. If you click on the link, the products don't cost you anymore, but I do get a little bit of money from the clicks. So I recently had this question from a high schooler. My wife teaches high school. And some of the students were asking, well, what's the best coffee maker for a college kid? And I actually hadn't made a video on it. So thanks for that recommendation on making this video. And again, if you've got any detailed questions or how to make coffee with any of these, I've got um, detailed videos, how to descale them. You know, there is some maintenance to them a little bit, but nothing too bad. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.